Hmm. Just have to finish what I'm eating. I do apologize. But as you can see in the uh, message in the main page, please let me know what code elements and tags do you know? Thank you, Lemon Leo. Well done, Natalia. I'm back. Yes, please head over to Code Emoji. I'll put the button there for you as well. Sorry about that, guys. We only have a limited amount of time in the day, don't we? Okay, putting the button there for you now. Oh, perfect. And oh, let me just edit that. What a day, yeah. Okay, guys. Well done, Body Ice Cube, aka Iced Tea. Uh, body, what does it do? Can you hear me now, Matt Lemon? Should be able to hear me. Guys, you can hear me, right? Yeah. I... Perfect, Simona. Good, perfect, lovely. Okay. HTML, yeah. HTML, what does that do? Well, Antonio, thank you. So let's see if we've got any today. A bit more busier than last week. Okay. Whoops. So, Tanya, Simona, Pikachu, I'm guessing is Finn. Pepperoni Pizza, Matt, Matt De Lemon, Lemon Shay, Leo, Ignacio, Kevin, uh, Ice Cube, Henry. Hi, Henry, and Natalia, Elijah, and I think, uh, Mr. Sims, if you don't mind, turn off your microphone for me, please, sir. Uh, lovely. And um, yes, and Sasha, nice to see you all, guys. Okay, so what other elements have we got in here? Let's have a look. No problem, uh, Robbie. Oh, I like how you, Mr. Hines, for Clipchamp, I filmed it on my dad's phone, and I don't know how to get it on the Clipchamp. Don't worry, Natalia, that's what Mr. Sims is going to show you how to do. That's exactly what Mr. Sims is going to be showing you how to do, is being able to get your videos on to the uh, Clipchamp there, okay? So don't worry about that, Natalia. That's exactly what we wanted you, where you wanted to be, where we want you to be and what we need you to do, okay? No problem, Natalia, don't worry, don't worry. Mr. Sims has got it. Mr. Sims is the guy. He's the man. Okay. Matt Lemon, you need to look at your sound. What else have we got? What, what, what are new project? Yes, pepperoni pizza, new project. No, the same project that we did last week. Yesterday, sorry, last week. Yesterday. Same project that we opened up yesterday. Okay. Right. Okay, guys. Seeing as... um. We have not got many people putting in good, <laughs> putting in a uh, very good HTML codes. Let's get over to what we need to do. So I'm going to screen share and we are going to go over to code emoji. Oop, not that one. Uh, bear me a second. I'm going to come back into the correct one. Chose the wrong one there. I sign in as a, I was in my teacher account. I need to go into my student account. And it's brilliant. So I hope everyone's going over to Code Emoji, opening the yesterday's project that we opened and we started to do yesterday. I think I called it Fun Website, or if I remember correctly. So if I just um, screen share my information to you ASAP, then you should be able to see it. So this is where we're at at the moment okay guys let me know if you have not um put in um let me know if you have not I'm gonna close the chat for now i'm gonna open it in one second let me know if you have not um logged into code emoji three two one lovely good if you have not logged into code emoji come on roberto come on pepperoni pew list let's go okay yeah i noticed olamidi no problem what you need to do olamidi let's get into code emoji and we'll open a new project it's okay uh this is recording brilliant well done okay guys so everybody needs to, yeah, no problem, Olamide. You need to go to Code Emoji, 
And I'm going to show everybody uh, quickly. We'll start from the top here. Okay, and I'll close the chat and I will open it shortly so that we can focus for now. And then if you need to answer any questions, hold them for now. And I will get, and we'll open the chat up in a minute for some questions. But let's just start from the beginning so that we're all on the same page. So let's go back here. So you can log into Code Emoji. And guys, I've got a brand new Kahoot for you today, just so you know. Um, so I would be paying a lot of attention. I will be looking carefully because I put some really interesting questions in there. So I'm really looking to test your brains today. So we log into Code Emoji. We come on our dashboard. This is our main uh, home page here. Left hand side, you see where it says my projects. Left hand side, my projects. Let's click on my projects. Fantastic. Now that we've entered our projects, I want you to click on new project Olamidi. But everybody else who was here yesterday, if you were not here yesterday, you need to open a new project. If you're here today, you need to you if you were here yesterday and uh, you need to open your same project that you had yesterday. Now, Olamidi and those who of you who weren't here yesterday, I think that is also uh, Henry. If you look here carefully, we have just put on line one a H1 heading. So up a H1 heading. And I'm going to copy that and paste that into the chat. And I want you to change. You can either copy and paste it or you can write your own one in there and change the title of your website or the heading of your website, should I say, sorry. The heading, the H1 heading of your website, okay? And that goes on line three in your HTML box there, okay? Now, what we did yesterday, guys, do you remember? And um, what we did, we had a, we used a marquee co uh, code, yep? We used a marquee code to make the text go across the page. Now, th then what we did, we put that on line four. If you remember carefully, we put that on line four. And what I am going to do, guys, for those of you who, who weren't here yesterday, I've put it in the chat for you now, and you can copy and paste that, but just change the middle of the writing, obviously, where it says, welcome to the fun site. Also on the H1, you can change the Mr. Hines Fun Time website. This, the first one, again, just to reiterate, should be on line three, and the second one should be on line four. Okay, I'm going to open the chat. Let me know if everybody's with me at this moment in time. It just needs to be that at this moment, okay? Well done, Natalia. Roberto. Uh, right. What's wrong, Roberto? What's wrong, Sean? Oh, Sean. No problem, Alicia. We, you're, you were just going over what we did yesterday. Okay. What I'm going to say, who else had problems? Roberto. Thank you, pepperoni pizza. We will get to that. So Roberto and one second. Roberto and um, type it in then, Henry. You can type it in. That's fine. I write it, but then my screen slides and deletes it all. You can't paste in code emoji. You sure? Yeah, you're right. I didn't realize that, actually. I never pasted in code emoji. It means we don't paste any code. That's good. It's keep it's holding us there. Okay. Right. Okay. Let me have a quick look, guys. Just trying to make sure everyone's sorted. Okay. Yep. That means you've got to type it in there. Okay. So that means. Yeah. Mr. Hines. Uh, yeah, Sean, are we on the same project as yesterday? Yep. Okay. And do we press those three bars on the side to get to the new project, get to this project? Because Sean's on a different project at the moment. You know, it just needs to be, uh, I'll just show you on the screen share, my projects. And then if he's got his project from yesterday, no problem. 
Uh, but if not, then just click on new project. Should have saved it from yesterday. Okay, yeah, it, it wasn't saved from yesterday. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, so go um, on new project and follow, Sean. I think that's the um, best thing to do. Mr. Sims, can I put you into a breakout room with two other students? Yeah, no problem. What's the problem? Uh, let's just have a look. Matt the Lemon, you weren't here yesterday as well. They just need to get put up to this um, this stage of where we are right now. Oh, okay. Just, just the line three and four, that's it. Okay, cool. All yeah. right. Okay, guys, for those of you that weren't here yesterday, I'm going to put you into a room now with Mr. Sims. And Mr. Sims is going to put you onto level, get you onto doing line three and four. And Matt Lemon wasn't here yesterday as well. And Henry, I don't think, was here yesterday. Is there anyone else that needs to be put, who needs to go in the uh, help out room? Put me, let me know if you need to go in the help out room now. Elijah, yeah. And who? And Roberto, Elijah and Roberto, okay. Where's Roberto gone? Roberto, there you are. Okay, brilliant. Okay. Sasha, are you coming in? The, are you staying here? You're fine, yeah? Okay, brilliant. Perfect. Okay, guys. So let's move forward. Now, what I'm waiting to do next, yes, is we are going to, uh, we're going to start putting some text in, okay? So what what's, what code, put it in the chat box, what code? It's a really simple one. Do I need to put start putting in the chat uh, some text? What code do you think it is? What What tag? you think it is it's really simple exactly alicia it's the p tag exactly simone it's the p tag yep use the p and obviously tags uh so what i want you to do is oh computer's turn off p we're gonna open this so we're gonna go to line five okay let's make sure we can leave it in like that there at the moment open bracket p because we're gonna start typing right but then we're going to type space class, okay? Now, what, the reason why we're, take, we're using class is because this is going to be really useful in CSS, okay? okay? The CSS section, to be able to add the colors and the alignment to the text properly. What we are doing when we're putting class is we are saying to CSS that the, uh, any design that you do in CSS needs to be attached to this P, and this will make sense later. So basically, when you call when you put the letter p in css okay and you attach any colors or anything to it any design any skin yeah if we think about what we were talking about before with html being the skeleton and css being the skin when you put p in your html and then you put p in the css bo box any design that you have if, that you've done in css in regards to the p Will, will be applied to the text box, okay? So it's very similar to what we were doing before when we were changing the rainbow colors. If you remember in CSS, we were changing the rainbow colors there, and that was affecting what was happening in the HTML, okay? Now, so I want you to put in there P class and then equals, uh, sorry, speech mark A, speech mark, okay? We're going to call this class A. We're going to call our first one A, okay? And then close the tag. Just with a uh, uh, close, um, what do we call it again? Good old bracket, okay? But we need to bring that closer. That needs to be all one word, okay? I'm going to type that in the, I'm going to paste that into the chat. Well done, pepperoni pizza. I'm going to paste that into the chat. I'm going to pin it at the top there. That's what it kind of needs to be. Well done. Who was that? Alicia. Exactly right. Well done, Alicia. It's class, Sasha. Class. Yep, it is, Simona. Well done. Line five. That's right. Line five. <laughs> well done, Shay. Good. Well done, guys. Fantastic. Well done, Sasha. Really good. Making some great progress there. Okay. Now that we've done that, okay. We've done the P class. We're going to need to put some text in there, okay? So put a sentence. After this, I want you to put a sentence of what you would like, what your website's about. So let's say, um, welcome to the fun site. This website 
It's all about having fun with my friends. Just living here, guys. Just ad living. This website is uh, it's all about having fun. So I want you at the same time to write your sentence now. There, okay. At the same time, okay. So this website is all about having fun with my friends. I like to go to the park and roller skate, for example. I'm actually a really good roller skating, by the way. I'm actually going to delete all that because I don't I don't want to make it too confusing. I'm going to leave it as that for now. One sentence. And then, remember, we've always got to close the tag. Make sure we're doing open crocodile bracket forward slash P, close that crocodile bracket, okay? Make sure it looks just like that. And I'm going to copy that to the chat and pin that. Well done, Sasha. Well done, Alicia. Okay. And that's how we're doing that there, okay? All right. So you obviously can't copy and paste it into code emoji, which, which I never knew, which was I'm really pleased about, to be honest with you. It means you've got to do it yourself. Okay. So P, so open bracket. I'm going to just say it to you one more time. It's open bracket. P space class equals exclamation mark A, exclamation mark, then other crocodile bra bracket. Okay. What's wrong with your Sasha? Let me know. Okay, Natalia, thank you very much. Anyway, right. If it's too big, what's too big, Sasha? What's too big? Let's just wait for session one second, guys. <laughs> nice one, Simona. Just reduce the sentence, reduce the sentence. We're going to keep it really simple right now. Don't make it too long, okay? Just so that I, I'm making it simple so you can see it. And we can make it more difficult later, okay? But right now, let's keep it as simple as possible, okay? Because we're all learning this, because we because you learn the code, right? Now, what I also want to do is we want to add an image into here, okay? The same way we added images before, but we're gonna add an image as a div class. Can anybody tell me what this means in HTML? IV, no problem, whoever that is. Ah, Georgia. Well done, well done, well done, Shay. Yes, exactly. It is a bot. So what we are going to do on line six, okay, is we're going to do a div class. So similar to a P class, but now we're doing a div class. We're putting a bracket on line six, guys. DIV class, that's the div class, okay, and equals... Where am I? Equals treat um what was it? Image, sorry. Yeah, image. Other one, the same way we did it before with the A class, and we're calling this one image and we're closing it there. Okay. I'm gonna put that in the chat and pin that so you guys can see that. There you go. Well done. Thank you very much, Alicia. Very quick. Very quick, Alicia. What's wrong, Sasha? Yeah, Georgia, you're going to have to jump in. We're going to move to the Kahoot in a minute anyway, guys. My words take turns. Well, they're not staying still. I will have a look at that, Sasha. But guys, do anyway, regardless, this video is being recorded and this is going to go up on the YouTube straight after the um, lesson so that you can um, double check your work as well. Yeah, that's correct, Simona, exactly. Um, your, your, it should look like this because remember your marquee words, you don't want them to move. We only want the welcome to the fun site to move. So and it, remember, we need to make sure everything's on a different line. OK, so if you look at line three, H1, I'm going to copy and paste all that code in there for you now, actually. And it should look something like that. OK. 
look at you guys. Do you know what? I'm really impressed. This is exactly what um, a team of coders will do. I can see that, you know, Alicia's trying to help Sasha to fix his code. This is exactly what, if you was to be hired into a um, website and creating company, right? You would have a bunch of coders, so maybe about four or five coders, and this is exactly what they would do. They would, and especially now, this is how they would be doing it. They'd be going through the code together, trying to fix problems. That's really, really good, and um, I'm really proud of you guys. You did really well. I noticed, guys. Okay, right. Let's move on. And then, what do I need to do? Who knows what I need to do after this? One last thing. What's missing from this part to this part? What is missing from there? Good, Simona. <laughs> we have to close it. What's the tag to close it, though? Someone tell me. What's the tag to close it? Exactly right, Simona. It is. So all you need to do now, guys, let's go back and do that. Let's close that tag, space, div. Okay. So I'll close it with a slash div, then close that tag on line six. Okay. So it should look something like this in total. Okay. Guys, what I want you to do between now and the next lesson, if you have time, I know you've got a very busy schedule anyway. Right. Um, fact, perfect, Georgia. Thanks very much. I know you have a busy schedule anyway because I've because your home learning is quite intense. Um, what I was going to say was, yeah, mess around with this when you if you get a chance, yeah, because that's the whole point. Because I can teach you as much as I can, and you guys are doing well from that. Um, but I want you to, when we finish this, to go away and mess around with it and move things around and see what else you can come up because that's how you. Uh, that's how you learn things really um i will tell you a story grace hopper the first software engineer the person who created um software engineering um first the first computer the cobalt computer um which did like calculations as a child all she would do was go around the house i'm not telling you to do this but she would go around the house and she would break unbreak everything and put everything back together OK, and that's how she learned. That's why she's become a software engineer, because she got clocks. It was usually she used a, she would use a lot of clocks. Yeah, she would use a lot of clocks. And um, when she would use clocks, uh, yeah, yeah, they were Simona, but she would break them. Have a look inside. How did that work? Put it all back together. Make sure it worked. It's the same thing with coding, guys. She's a software engineer. It's the same thing with coding. You have to look at it, break it and see if you can make it work again. And that's why we sometimes we do um, challenges. I've sent a few challenges out to you guys. And that's why it's good to look at those challenges because it's about breaking and fixing them. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do now is, as you already know, because someone's put up the Kahoot um, website, let's get over to Kahoot. So we've done a bit of HTML there. Um, we need to do some CSS tomorrow. There's the Kahoot. I hope you are all ready. And I'll change the button quickly. Oh, I will put pepperoni pizzas one tag it there so we can all get over to Kahoot, Kahoot nice and easily. Ah. Okay, guys. It's time for Kahoot. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. You can see that the Kahoot is ready for you and we are ready to go now. So we've got um five minutes sorry not five minutes um we're gonna do a quick kahoot so if you want to take a quick break if you want you can feel free to do that and uh whilst we do that and then you can come back so yes oh i didn't add your points yesterday i knew i forgot something let me go and add your points from yesterday uh i forgot where that document is gone now i think it's on the Okay, how are we doing? Who's logged in? Who's not logged in? 12.13, Olamide's in. St. Raphael's good, uh, is, is in. St. Raphael's win. Henry's in. This is a new one, guys. Our Lady Ignacio. Uh, leaderboard, right. So who won yesterday? <sighs> Natalia, wasn't it? Yeah, Natalia. And who's Ice Cube? Ice Tea. 
Tiana. Yes, Tiana won one as well, didn't she? That was the two, wasn't it? One for Tiana and one for Natalia, wasn't it? That was right, yeah. There's one that was yesterday's one. I'm going to quickly add that it was one for Natalia, which was St. Rayfield. So that's two for Natalia. Well done. Natalia is in the lead at the moment with two. And then it was one at Our Lady of the Rosary, which was Tiana. Well done, Tiana. Okay. No, Our, our Lady and St. Rayfield are joining at the moment. They're joint top. Okay. Is everybody in the cahoot? Are we ready to go? I think we're missing one person, maybe. Roberto, are you logged in? Yeah, Roberto is. Are we missing one person? I'll give you five seconds to line. It might be Mr. Sims, mightn't it? Yeah, you're right. Um, I'll give you five seconds if you're not there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, here we go. Let's see who knows this one, the new HTML and CSS code. You guys should be good. Which of the following is the most recent standard of HTML? <laughs> Six, seven, five, or four. If you, I did mention this once. I remember mentioning it once. I may have mentioned it before, after that. Though. Oh, yeah, don't forget to save. Sorry. I, do you know what? That's partly my fault and it's partly your fault. We'll take 50-50 thing. But yes, you're right, Georgia. We need to save that project. But you, um, the code is in there as well. Right. Sorry, that's partly my fault. I should have reminded everybody to save their work. So how did we do? HTML5 is the new one. No, not HTML7. Okay. I remember I said with the new HTML5, which I'm just letting you know about, you sometimes you don't have to close the tag it closes itself basically it just it's, it just intelligently knows when you when you don't want the, the tag to be closed so um so html5 can allow you to do that but sometimes it's really good practice to close it anyway Ash is pikachu not his raichu let's go next one what tells the browser that this is an html document Ooh. html a, a doc hate type HTML head or body. Love this question. Look if you look at the question, uh, the uh, picture. Well done. Ah, uh, couldn't trick you on that one, could I, guys? Couldn't trick you on that one. Okay, good. Well done. Ashes Pikachu, Lemon Pizza, Henry, Rob, and Shay. Is this HTML or CSS, guys? What do you think? Shush. Oh, some fast answers. Good thinking. Pepperoni pizza. Good thinking. Come on, Georgia. You can do better than that. Good. I've got a lot of you got that right. Very good. Let's see what that does to the board. No change there. Ashes Pikachu, Lemon Pizza, Rob for Life, Lemon Shea, and Alicia. What is the correct CSS syntax? Is it uh, curly bracket body, uh, semicolon? Uh, do you know what? I'm not going to read all of them, but you know what I mean. Color black, color black, color black, and color black. Yeah, I'll leave it to you guys. Yes, you do. Exactly. Oh, no, you didn't. So, guys, remember it's like the P. That we did yesterday you have to call it first like the body i mean earlier sorry so you could pee body um what was the other one we did was it yesterday we did it or the day before um i can't remember what the other one we did but yeah you have to call it p on the image as well i think maybe div or something i can't remember but yeah color curly bracket color colon black semicolon and then the um semicolon at the end and then the Fit, uh, what am I talking about? The curly bracket. Sorry. Alicia, well done. Shay, Ash Pikachu, Shane Frayfields. So it's Rayfields in the lead at the moment. The language HTML is known for it. Tags, capital letters, flags, or semicolons. Is our lady going to get it this time? Just going to turn the massage on, on my massage chair. Ah, uh, yes. Come on, Stanhope. 
get out the bag. Well done. Remember, everyone knows that one. Very good. Some good knowledge. What is the importance of the HTML doc type? If we just answered the correct question before, red is non-existent. Blue, what's a doc type again? Blue, yellow should be very first thing in a HTML. Green, it's not important. Uh. Roberto, Roberto, Roberto. Miss click, slip of the fingers. Ash Pikachu, Lemon Pizza and Ray Fields, Alicia and Natalia is coming, guys. Watch out. Is this HTML or CSS? Somebody please help me. Look carefully. Is it HTML and CSS? HTML or uh, HTML, HTML or CSS? Hmm. Can you see the image there? Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Well done. Yes, guys, that was only HTML. It wasn't HTML and CSS. It was only HTML. Half the class got that right. Well done. I'm glad we did this one today. Lemon Pizza. I sent Rafael's looking to win. Is that Sasha? Well done, Sasha. Kat, Ash Pichu, and uh, Natalia. Is this HTML or CSS, guys? Let's have a look carefully. Ooh, what is that? I'm not sure, really. Well done. Yes, it is HTML. Well done. Oh, Sasha, is that you? Is that Sasha? Is it? Yeah, <laughs> go, Sasha. Well done. HTML is about structuring web page content. PSS is all about just destructuring, validating, checking, or styling. I did say this today, guys. Come on, Sasha. You do know we did this today. I said it to you today. Come on, we want you to win, Sasha. Well done, it's about styling. Ah, he knew, he knew, he tried to play us, he knew already. If HTML is like the structure of a house, CSS is like the toilet, wallpaper, electrical wiring, or the plumbing. That's a new one, isn't it? What do you think about that one? <laughs> think about it. That's it, it's about, well done, guys. Really, really good, well done. Good, Alicia. Ah, oh, uh, uh, Sasha. Okay, who's Lemon Pizza? Cat, Pikachu, Mochi, and St. Refills win. Two more. Which of these is not a valid HTML uh, element? H7, IMG, H1, or P? Hmm, this is a difficult one, eh? Okay, Roberto says it's easy. I'd like to see what happens. Good. Well done, guys. Very impressed. Not bad. No change on the board there. Last question. Here we go. What is CSS used for? Simple question. Don't even need to say it. Another programming language for websites. Video games. It is another programming language for websites or anime. Is it websites? Mr. Sims loves anime. Right, well done. It's not web. It's not true, guys. It's not true. <laughs> it's not websites. It's websites. Brilliant. Okay, guys. Here we go. Let's see who won that one. Who's, who am I going to give a point to right now? In third was Ash's Pikachu, not his Raichu or his Bulbasaur. Cat in second. In first place, the school with the next point is Lemon Pizza. Do I have no idea who Lemon Pizza is? Does it sound very nice? Uh, <laughs> pizza Bob Jeff, who I think is Andrew. Very nice pizza flavor. Yes, I think it is Andrew. Yes, I do think it is Andrew. Okay, okay, cool. It's Andrew. So I'm going to give that one, pe one, pe one pizza. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want a free pizza. Decide you better get him one now. <laughs> I've gotta get, yeah, I've got to get Andrew. I've got to get you a pizza now. What type of pizza do you like, Andrew? Okay, so four to our lady. Three to St. Rafael's, one to Stanhope. Come on, Simona, Tanya. Let's get moving on to the next one. Okay, so I'm going to end my screen sharing for you. And what button would you like the children to head over to, sir? I would like them to head over to app.clipchamp.com. Let me just type that over in the chat for you guys. App.clipchamp.com.
Thank you, sir. And I've I'm also... going to double check that link. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's yes, the correct one. So, guys, how about this? Yeah, give me uh, one if you remember how to log in to ClipChamp. Give me a two if you don't. All the twos will be going in a breakout room with Mr. Hines. So, if you don't want to do that, remember how to log in. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Mr. Sims. Okay. So two ones and two ones there by Pizza Bob Jeff, but I'm going to go with that's yes. Olamidi, I'll grab you then. Yeah, Olamidi, I'll take you into the a room to get you uh, signed up. Yes, that's it. Pepperoni pizza, that's it. Yes, please. Uh, Olamidi, make sure that you've clicked the ClipChamp link at the top of the page, please. So, should I go now? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 go. Go in the breakout room with Olamidi, and I'm just going to show everybody how to do it again anyway. Just bear with me, guys. Okay. I need to log out. Sorry, now. Yeah, that's it. Sean, would you like to me to take you into the breakout room? Let me know if you're okay or you want me to go in the breakout room. Shay, I coded most of it, not all of it. Right, guys, so we're going to go over to ClipChamp app.clinchat.com there might even be a page before this but click login and then we'll definitely be on this page here you all know how to do it sign in with google it's going to do it anyway log in with the e with the desired email my ones uh, you teach me it's my personal email too um and then do you remember we saved the project last time guys guys put in the chat now why it's important to save your projects Yeah, that's it, basically. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean it's not lemon shape? Explain why it's not. <laughs> yeah, that's it, to use in the future, exactly. You always want to come back to your work, basically, especially in the ClipChamp sense. In ClipChamp, it saves it automatically for you, but you want to label it. Just in case, imagine you had five projects in there and they all said untitled project. You wouldn't be getting to it. Can we use Bible? <laughs> no Ice Cube, aka Ice Tea. We cannot. Oh, yes, Natalia, you did. So, Basically, is there a way you can email that to your computer, Natalia? No, you can't. Um, can you plug the phone in and get it attached to your computer that way? Uh, Lemon Rob, try and stay. Um, unless you need the toilet, then of course you can go. We are, yeah. Guys, do you remember the homework? Who remembers the homework? And we know you did, Natalia. We know you did, uh, Natalia, but yeah, you got the video, nice one. Um, not yet, not yet, unless maybe you can go in a breakout room if you can't get the video on there. Yes, we did, Simona, did you manage to get yours? So, guys, give me a one if you managed to get your videos. Get me a two if you didn't manage to do it. Yeah, that's it, pepperoni pizza. Tanya, nice one. Ooh, pepperoni pizza, you didn't do it though. Two and one. Because I'm out in Portugal, guys, that's why, that's where I live. Nice one, guys. Okay, cool. So let's go back to Clip, clip Champ. So, we're all on this page at the moment. Remember, the one that you labeled last time, the one we did last time, go to that project, guys. And then we're here. We're on, we're on where we was last time. So guys, if you want to add your video, first of all, you need to put your video on the desktop, right? Or in a folder, call it videos on your desktop. So Natalia, how are you getting on with putting that video onto your computer, by the way? So it all should be here. Okay, let me just show you what you could, what you can do on ClipChamp, guys. If you go to Add Media, 
you can actually record your webcam. Now, my webcam is not going to be showing. But look, I can press because it's covered. I've got another webcam which I'm using for this. But can you see that? You can actually record it there and then. Press stop. Add to project. And there you go. It'll be in your project. So you can actually record it there and then in clip. clip OK, nice one. That's wicked. Nice one, Elijah. What's up, Dasha? What's up, Sasha? Dasha, sorry. What's up, Sasha? No, it's fine. It's fine. You didn't have to. Did you have a bit? Did you do you have your video? Okay. Record a quick guys. I'm going to give you all two minutes either to record a quick one, just a sample one, or put the video on your um, on your desktop. Okay. Um, Maybe get your parents' help with that one. Let me just show you what it what I did in mine was. I go to record webcam, I'm sure you've done this. Settings. Maybe in settings here it will allow you to access it. Or maybe you don't have a camera and microphone attached. Um, yeah, check those things, guys. But if you do, you should be able to select it and then press this record button here. My screen's black, by the way, because my newer webcam is covering my webcam on my computer, which is selected. Press stop, and you can add it to your project, and that will be there with sound as well, guys. Um, but if not, remember your homework was to, let me just see what's Pikachu's done here. Okay, wicked, yeah, so add that to your project, guys. Add that to your project. And we're gonna go. Okay, no problem, pepperoni pizza. Okay, for now, try and just follow the lesson and try and get a video in for, for the next lesson. Oh, you're done, Natalia. Nice one. Did you manage to put it in your um, project? Have you got it here? Guys, if you've done it externally, not within ClipChamp, go to Add Media, Browse Files, and I'm going to go to Videos here, and you can actually select one of your videos. I'm going to Videos, but guys, save it on your desktop. You can select Desktop, and your video should be on there. Double click it, and that can also be there as well. So, so guys, have most of you managed to get your the video you want to use for this lesson on there? Yeah, can't can't at all. I can't wait to see all of them. It's going to be great. It's going to be. I uh, can't wait to see the finished videos. They're going to be fantastic. Have we all managed to get our videos here, guys? Or the video, it should just be one. Wicked, nice one. Okay, nice one, Lemon Rob. I'll give you one more minute. Okay, nice one, Simona. Got Simona, we're just trying to we're getting the video we want to use in our project files part here. Just to let you know, you can go add media, you can record your own by clicking this button, or you can get it from your desktop, browse files. Uh, let me put one in I did earlier. Here you go. And then here you go. You get it in here. Or you can record it and it will be here as well. So, guys, we all need to be at that section, giving you 30 more seconds. Lemon Leo, what's up? It could be a benefit, uh, Lemon Leo. It could be anything. Or it could be, if you want an idea, do a New Year's resolution video. But it could be a benefit. So, I'm a do you mind, hi, sir. Do you mind showing us one more time um, how to put the video in? Sorry, I just um, had the two guys in the breakout room, if you don't mind. There's two Thank ways, guys. We go to add media. So get uh, is everyone on their project, uh, Mr. Hines, who you've just been in a breakout room with? Definitely. Okay, so guys, go to add media here. If it's on your desktop, or on your computer already, go to Browse Files, find the file you want to use. I'm going to go to Videos, and then double-click that. 
and it will be there in and you see that's a gaming video on fifa I'd done guys earlier um so yeah get that one in and that'll be ready in your video files in your ready to go into your timeline so guys i'm just going to explain to you this down here is called the timeline you see where it says drag and drop media into the timeline i'm just going to explain to you what a timeline is um because it's terminology you're going to come up with in video a lot now timeline basically is where you edit the video and create your final piece of video um, you can add pictures to this timeline you can add graphics you can add text you can add music but in video editing the timeline is to edit the video and put it all together just to let you know and guys um what is the aspect ratio with the video we're doing at the moment please put it in the chat if you know what's the aspect ratio we're using at the moment yes Straight in, Simona, Sasha, Lemon, Rob, straight in. Nice one, Henry. We'll have a look at that. Nice one, Natalia. Nice one, Matt the Lemon. There's a lot of different lemons in here. I'm getting confused which one's which, but I think I'm keeping up. But guys, you're perfectly right. 16 by 9, the aspect ratio, sizes left by right, and that's um, width by length. 16 by 9. So back to clip champ so guys we want to put our video our desired video into the project how are we going to go about that we click and drag it in okay so let's just see that again let me uh control d drag it in. okay guys so um are you all happy with that you can't download it pizza bob jeff what's up what can't you download the video? It's, nice files, time, yeah. it's files from its Google Drive. Are you sure, Pizza Bob Jeff? Right click on it and then you should have to be able to download from your Google Drive. Is I'm going to give you all, all two minutes to catch up, add the media and put it in your timeline. And, and meanwhile, I'm just going to ask you a quick uh, trivia question. So is a .wav a video file? Is a .wav? I'm going to let you all answer, and then I'm going to tell you in a minute what the right answer is. So the right answer is no, it's not. That is an audio file. So guys, someone give me an example. Well done to all of you who said no, quite a lot of you. Yes, well done, Natalia. Very good in this lesson. Nice one, Lemon Rob. Um, okay, so let's put, let's go a bit further now. Yes, you've already, you've already answered it, guys. All right, cool. <laughs> MP4, yes, that is a video file. Wicked. So, guys, back to this. So, are we all here? Have we all got a video in the timeline? Let, let, let us know if you have not got a video in the timeline. I will look to try and take you into a breakout room, if that's all right with you, sir. Yeah, no problem at all. Yeah, sometimes it does take a while to load, um, Georgia. Yeah, I'm going to give you all another minute to let it load especially if you've got Sky Internet. All right, peace of Bob Jeff. We've got another minute. Nice one, Sasha. Okay. I'm going to take a couple into... So, guys, if you want me to take you into the breakout room now, can you say no from here on out? <laughs> Sean, Andrew. <laughs> Olamidi, how are you doing? Olamidi, yeah? Brilliant. Peace of Bob Jeff. Sean, Andrew, Olamidi. Peter, Bob, Jeff, all media. Anyone else? Is that it, sir? I can't yeah, see I think it. that's it. Who's it? Of... Lemon Leo. I oh, know he said yo. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay, cool. All right, guys. So, what I'm going to teach you next is we've got a video in the timeline. What do we want to do next? Well, we want to cut the video up. We want to take the bits out that we want to use. So. Let's get to that bit. Let's get to that bit. Yeah, I want to use this bit, actually. So how are we going to use that? So I want to cut here to here. Here to here. How do I do that? I do that using this split tool, the, the, what, the icon with the scissors on it, on the time. So I click this. Sorry about that, guys. I really am. I click the split tool. Go across, 
So I've, what, what I've done there is kick the split to at the start of the part, bit of video I want to cut. And then I've dragged this cursor over the end bit and pressed split. See, now that's split from the rest of the video. And what I'll do, I'll take this bit out at the start, which I don't want to use. And now I've got, I'm going to leave all this bit of video in the timeline here. Why? Because I might want to use it at a different time. And now I've just got this one bit of video that I can use. Guys, did we all understand that? I'm going to show you again, actually, in a second. We'll just see how many of you got that bit. So if anyone can say, what, what do we use the split tool for? Okay, no problem, Sasha. We can wait a minute. I'm going to go through it again anyway. Yeah, it's a crop. Exactly, yeah. All right, nice one. Lemon Leo, come on. You looks like your hand slipped. We'll wait a second, don't worry. I'm sure we'll get there. Maybe, yeah, it was just the Sky Internet. Nice one, Henry. Okay, cool. So let me just show you again. I'm using Control Z here. Can you see that? That's actually taking me back steps. Very important thing in video or photo editing. You always want to go back a step. So yeah, I want to cut out this bit of video here, starting here and to this bit. So these, these bits here I want to cut out. I want to get rid of this start bit. Okay, so I'm gonna use a split tool. I wanna to put the cursor over the bit. I wanna split at the start. And then I'm gonna move that across. And then we're gonna put the cursor over a bit. I wanna split at the end. And then I'm gonna highlight that bit at the start and press backspace or delete on my keyboard. And now I've got this single bit of video that I can use to start editing. So uh, guys, did, was that okay? Was that okay? All understanding that. So, guys, what is a split tool used for? One more time. Yes, that's it. Fantastic. Fantastic. We don't have to split it. No, if you like your video the way it is all the way through, you don't have to. It's just a very good tool to use. Sasha, did you manage? Did you get what the split tool was, though? Yeah. <laughs> nice one. There's a lot of links going up, guys. We're not sharing links at the moment. We'll have a day for that, don't worry. Oh, cool, you don't have to. Sorry, Lemon Rob, links aren't being checked in this lesson. So guys, we all use a split tool. Um, we'll go, we're gonna go into this in the next lesson a little bit more, but why don't we just wait for the other guys to come back up the uh, breakout room so we can start the Kahoot. I just want to show you how to add text. So we've got this bit of video here. Now there's a new way to add text actually in ClipChamp from the last time, guys, if you remember when we used it last time, and that's using this tool just above the video in the timeline called Add Text that's already on top. And it gives you all these lovely um, presets that you can use. You've got two lines, you've got one line. I'm going to use this one to start my video. And actually, there's two ways of doing it, but I will double click in here. You should actually be able to change this. Let's just put Groovy in there for now. So Groovy's in there. Uh, okay, yeah, cool. So guys, you see what, let's just go back two steps because I think I just went a bit fast there. So guys, we click on add text in the timeline. I'm going to use the groovy one. So I've clicked that add tool, or you could even drop and drag down. I used the plus tool that time, but remember we can drag and drop in there, which is always good because you can place it exactly where you want. Um, okay, so I want to edit this. I don't want it to say groovy. So I'm going to click on this in the timeline, click on this text tool, and I'm going to change it to Mr. Sims. Yeah, and then here we go. And then we've got Mr. Sims. Guys, was that all good? Did you did you get? We're going to go into more of that. But did you understand that? Nice one. 
All right, so just to see if you've all been listening, how do we put video from our project into the timeline? Quickest hands, quickest hands. Yes, drag, drag, that's it. iPhone 12, Natalia. <laughs> that is, you could use that to make the video, yes. Okay, guys, so I want to start the Kahoot. I'm just waiting for Mr. Hines to come back in. Here he is. Hi, Mr. Hines, how's it going? Good, good, good. Yes, we, um, so what we're going to do, we, in the breakout room, we're going to film, after the lesson, we're going to film, record our own videos into ClipChamp for you, sir. And then we should have hopefully caught up then, right? Yeah, they should. Yeah, that'll be fantastic. Perfect. So I'm setting up the Kahoot at the moment, guys. Let me just uh, take my screen share off. So, like, um, so like we were saying, um, for those of you that were in the breakout room, don't forget. Um, just when you're in ClipChamp, click record webcam, and then it will start recording. Click the red circle, you know, with click to record, and then start presenting your video. If you've got your own ideas, guys, no problem. You can do that. Um, don't have an issue if you use your own ideas. But if you do need an idea, the best an idea we have is. Um, New Year's resolution. Um, five ideas for a New Year's resolution. I said, maybe you want to do something for the community this year. Maybe you want to get better in English. Maybe you want to get better in maths. Maybe you want to get better in computing. Uh, maybe you want to help out in the church when lockdown is finished. Okay. <laughs> uh, ice cube, ice cube. Why would you put that? Uh, Tiana, you, I don't think you're old enough for that. Thank you very much. True, it is a common resolution, yeah. It's a common resolution, but not for uh, year four. Late girl. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this will join the Kahoot, by the way. 227-8062. Unpin pepperoni pizza ones, please, uh, Mr. Hines. But New Year's resolutions are for you personally, not for anybody else what you want to do in this world. Because I don't know how you, you can't affect somebody else who's smoking. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking about that. Yeah, the cahoots, guys, the cahoot. Right, <laughs> so, we'll talk about that. <laughs> remember, that it's not the one that's pinned in the chat, guys. Let me unpin that, actually. It's 227-8602. I'm joining this Kahoot. Where is it? I'm going to win as well. You know, oh. at, at Stanhope, I did um, a Kahoot. And the teachers got involved and they beat all the kids. So I'm very supporting that. I know. They didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they was going to slow down. But they was like, no, nah, no, nah, we're going to beat them. They were taking it seriously. <laughs> I know. Come on, guys. Stop putting those links in. We're not sharing links today. Okay, guys, remember, we've got to be cordial in the... No, you weren't there, Tanya. It was Miss Husseini. All oh, right. Oh, yeah, if I would, I get to choose the point. I get you, Georgia. I get you. I get you. How many more people are needed to join, Mr. Hines? How many more people? Uh, probably just one or two. Come on, guys. Get in there. Get in there. Ooh, there Mr. I am. Hines, lemon. Mr. Hines would eat a lemon pizza, to be fair. No, I wouldn't eat a lemon. Lemon pizza? Tomato base, cheese on top. <laughs> <laughs> Basil, parsley. I teach at all the schools, Sasha, so... Very diverse, Mr. Hines is, isn't he? Tiana, sorry, did I upset you? You, sh you usually put a nice name in there, like something funny. She's put Tiana today. <laughs> I mean, that is her name, Mr. Hines. That is, uh... <laughs> but usually Tiana comes up with a crazy name, which is really nice. I hope I haven't upset you, Tiana. I think it's because she's done so well that she wants people to see what place she is in the Kahoot. True. And my massage has just finished, guys. Just so you know. <laughs> okay, guys, let's start this. Yes. If you haven't joined, then what can I say? You've had five minutes. 
that's that's enough, sir. That's enough. Video right. editing. There we go. I'm gonna beat you guys. Three, I'm sorry. Two, one. Quiz. What do we use to edit our videos? Is it Clip Champ, Biteable, Premiere, oh. Mr. Simpsons, Nan? Oh, is it that one again? Is it? <laughs> Come on, and we'll see all 20 answers in. Mr. Hines, get your answer in, man. Everyone else has answered. <laughs> Thanks, Georgia. Um, <laughs> flattery will get you everywhere, I'm sure you have been told before. Okay, Thank okay, you. yes, it's tip jump. Who did an answer? Who put Premier? Probably Mr. Hines. Mm -hmm. Oh, look what? at that. What, these guys are faster than me. No <laughs> Not way. in the top. Not in the top. Not rating you, Mr. Hines. Okay, okay so... <laughs> How do we put video in the timeline? Just done this, click it, click and drag, use the mouse, ask Mr. Heinz to do it. In the breakout room. <laughs> <laughs> AKA help out room. Help out room, yeah. A learning room. Oh yeah, you call it a learning room. One more answer, guys. Come on, who's holding up the team? I should skip it. Georgia, a wise man knows that he knows nothing at all. I can't remember which yes. verse in the book. Can't remember which verse in the Bible. That's Bible's it. Happened. Click and drag. Easy. It was fastest fingers first. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. <laughs> these these guys are really fast. Yeah. All right, Nick, we've got to press next, and I did. Yeah, yeah. Here yeah. We go. <laughs> Lemon pizza, top three. Tiana, well done. Top four. See, that's why she put her name so we know it is Ashes Pikachu. Fifth golden nugget, still top. Mr. Hines nowhere to be seen. So, question three: <laughs> What one of these is a video file? Mr. Hines, you should know this. MP3. Mr. Hines, why have MP4? Come on, I want to see all twenty answers this time. Who's not playing? Who's gone for a toilet break? We'll find out. The leaderboard will reveal all. <laughs> Ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Doosh. Oh, Cat is back. It's gone top. Golden Nugget in second. Tiana third. Well done. Ashes Pikachu. Lemon Pizza fifth. Mr. Hines. Nowhere to be seen. So next question. What is the timeline? <laughs> where we edit pictures. Where we edit video. A historic timeline. Where we put things to save. Come on, guys. Want to see all 20 answers? Come on. Two people not joining What's in. Roberto? What could be possibly wrong, Roberto? We're placing... Roberto, you're a genius at this stuff. Don't worry, Roberto. You'll be back up there. 19 answers. Ooh, that's what we like to see. Not the full 20. Okay, yes, where we edit the video, nine of you got it wrong. Where we put things to say, no. A historic timeline, no. Where we edit pictures, no. What's happened? Tiana's gone top. Mr. Heinz Lemon. Lemon, our lady. Hello. Okay, yeah, Mr. Heinz, what are you doing? Cat is back and Ash is Pikachu. Come on, guys, we want Mr. Heinz not to be in the top three. Clip Champ is a browser based editing program. True or false? Gee! Quickly in. Mr. Hines reminds me of a person that I was once behind on a train on the way to Northampton. So yeah, cup 19 answers. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay, cool. It was true. One of you, one of you got it wrong. What's happened to the leaderboard? Oh nice. That's just Pikachu went ahead of you. <laughs> TR is still top. Cat is back in second. Let's go to the next. Question. All right, Finn. True or false? Dot web is a video file. Dot web is a video file. True or false? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Cool. 18 answers. Let's see what's happened to the leading board. 19 answers. One person's not answering, and we will know who you are. We will know who you are. Just remember that. All right. Nice one. I didn't say any of the answers. Oh, wow. No. <laughs> Mr. Hines has gone down nicely. So, Matt, duh, you're on it. You're on it in fifth. Lemon, our lady, 
Fourth, Champions League plays. Cat is back third. You can still get top, though. Ashes, Pikachu, and Tiana. Close I pressed the right. Kahoot is cheating. How do we log in on KickChamp, guys? Via Google, ask a pet dog, via Facebook, sign up form. Which one is it, guys? Oh, it's not the same one. Nice. No, Oh, working hard, are we? <laughs> yes, <laughs> at least 40 minutes before the lesson. <laughs> All right, guys, it's via Google. Yes, not a sign up for, but sir, yeah, it could no, so actually, a really good question. I think we need to focus on Simona said, What if you don't have a pet dog? <laughs> then you could ask your pet cat, Simona, or <laughs> hamster, and if you have none of them. Ask your goldfish. <laughs> yeah, ask your goldfish. <laughs> or maybe go to the local pond um, and ask a duck. But good question, Simona. <laughs> Tiana Top. Where Ashes am Pikachu I? Second. Where you're you're am not I? there. You're basically the person who didn't answer. Anyway, last question. 16 by 9 is the I know. frame size, aspect ratio, really good band audio editing. You know, Great 16 band. by 9. Great band. 60 aspects ratio. I oh, just gave it away, but seven of you already are. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late to answer now, anyway. Nice one. It is the aspect ratio. Okay. Podium. There's Mr. Hines. Is he third? No, it's Matt third. Well done. You brought it back, Matt third. Oh, the rosary. Ashes Pikachu, second, oh, number one. Rosary. Tiana! See, that's why she put a name there, Mr. Hines. <laughs> Cat is back and Lemon. Can't see the rest for fourth and fifth. Nice one, guys. Well done. Uh, well done, Tiana. I apologize. That's why you put your name there. That is why you put your name there. I'm going to take this key. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to have a very bad time tomorrow morning. <laughs> Well done. That's an hour lady point to Tiana. Tiana's on two points. So, just to re re reiterate, well done. You know what? I'm going to quickly screen share it so you can see. How about that? Okay. So, as you can see, Simona's on one for Stanhope, Our Lady of the Rosary, Ignacio won, one for Finn, two for Tiana, and one for Andrew. St. Rafael's Primary, we've got two for Natalia and one for Roberto. So Our Lady of the Rosary is winning at the moment with five points to St. Rachel's free. Congratulations. Well done, Our Lady of the Rosary. Doing very well. Okay, guys. So what? thank you very much, Mr. Sims. Thank you very much, Mr. Sims. Really good pleasure. Guys, looking forward to your videos. Yeah. Um, those of you that uh, did speak to, please uh, make sure you record that video so that come back next week with Mr. Sims, we can start editing our own videos. And we've got um, New Year's resolution ideas, but if you want, do whatever you want. It's up to Mr. Sims. Um, yeah. This is about learning the technicals uh, really a lot deeper than we did last time, guys. So on Clip Champ, you really can be an expert of it. Then to go forward into next month's lesson, guys, which is going to be a very experted lesson. So Listen in, guys. Don't don't miss anything. We're going to use all the tools. We will make uh, a finished video, but um, yeah, we we will. And obviously, that could be a New Year's resolution video, but um, it can also be a gaming video. Basically, we're going to learn the technical so well that you guys are going to be able to produce your own video by the end of this. Um, of course, but not just you know bite the ball. We'll just make it using other video. This is a lot different, a lot more I expertise. Thank you very much, Mr. Sims. Fantastic. So like you heard it with here, so, uh, guys, Mr. Sims will get you editing your own videos by the end of the course, which is fantastic. Okay, guys, um, thank you very much. We've got loads of TYS TYSMs in there for you, Mr. Sims. So Thanks, thank guys. You. TYSM to you guys for attending. Great, great lesson. We had a lot of fun. <laughs> we fantastic. did have a lot. And I will upload this video to YouTube now, guys, if you have any problems that you need to go over. Simona, do, uh, do you have an issue? Are you okay, Simona? I see that you're quickly asking for sir. You didn't tell us whether to save our project. Do you want us oh, to save it? Good point, guys, of course, every single time. Sorry, guys, I jumped the gun there. Definitely true. Simona, well done. Yeah. Guys, save your project. It will automatically save it. So if you yeah. come out of it, champ, it will automatically save it. 
exactly that's what simone has just met, uh, noticed as well well done guys okay guys we'll, we'll end it there thank you very much see you tomorrow mrs um boucherine and you are doing something that was really cool i can't remember what it was but it was really really good i totally forgot it's gone off my head but it was really nice i really liked it um who remember what it was magazine yeah exactly really liked it yeah no it was really good they're making their own magazine it's really really cool that's really cool oh, yeah. i want to join tomorrow <laughs> yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> <go> to <laughs> all right guys see you later take care and have a lovely evening goodbye